Hello everyone and welcome to another R&R Partners video. Today we are going to discuss the differences between the Romanian permanent residency and the temporary residency. If you are new to the channel and you are interested in either opening a Romanian company or immigrating to Romania, please consider subscribing to our channel as we post new and updated videos every two weeks. Given that there are many immigration systems that are working in the world, respectively uh, the European system and sometimes the US system of immigration, there is a difference between these two systems and not every time that you receive a card in the European Union is like obtaining the green card in the US. So in order to clarify these discrepancies between the uh, multiple systems in the world, we are making this video specially tailored for the Romanian immigration system in which I want to clarify what are the differences between the two immigration procedures and why you should make the permanent residency be one of your utmost priorities while staying in Romania. So if you are in one of the following situations that I am going to explain, do note that you can always book a consultation with me or one of my colleagues through our website in which we can give you tailored advice for your particular situation so you'll have no problem with the Romanian immigration procedure. Clarifying the procedure for obtaining the Romanian temporary residency, this is the first step after obtaining a D-type visa. The visa allows you to enter in Romania for a long-term purpose and afterwards is converted to a temporary residency permit. This permit that you will be obtaining is closely linked to your purpose in Romania. So if the permit is for studies, it will be linked to your studies. If it's for family reunification with your Romanian spouse, it will be linked with the marriage or if it's for work purposes, it will be linked with that work purpose that you have in Romania, respectively the work agreement and your employer. Therefore, if in any situation you lose that purpose, you stop your studies, you are dismissed, something happens with your spouse, your temporary residency permit will cease to exist. Your scope, your purpose in Romania will cease to exist and you will need to return to your country of origin and you can no longer stay in Romania. The permanent residency on the other hand is handed out to non-EU citizens who have been living in Romania for more than five years legally and continuously and they are also integrated in the Romanian society. Respectively, they know the Romanian language. Getting down to the differences between these two types of residency permits, you will see that the first um, difference is in the validity of the cards that you will be obtaining. The temporary residency permits can be valid for six months, for example, for digital nomads. They can be for one year, which is the general term. And the exceptions, the longer residency permits would be for blue cards for EU highly qualified workers, which are two years. And there is also the option for family reunification, which can be handed out up to five years. The permanent residency, on the other hand, has two terms of validity, five years for any purposes and 10 years for family members of uh, Romanian citizens. The second difference that you could see from the initial description of the two residency permits would be that the permanent residency is no longer linked to your purpose in Romania. Therefore, if you came to Romania with a purpose for work, when you get the permanent residency, your purpose is no longer linked to your work. You are one step closer to becoming a full Romanian citizen and you would be staying in Romania regardless if you have your purpose or you have no purpose in Romania. If you found this content useful, we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button down below 
as it will help out the channel and usually helps out other expats who are searching for information regarding the Romanian immigration procedures. The third difference between the two um, residency statuses is that with the permanent residency you can obtain the Romanian citizenship while with the temporary residency permit you cannot obtain the Romanian citizenship. Therefore, in order to have the Romanian citizenship you must have the Romanian permanent residency status when you are giving the vow and obtaining the Romanian citizenship certificate. The fourth difference it would be with regards to the rights that you have in Romania. Once you have the permanent residency status, you will be treated as a Romanian citizen and you will have the rights and obligations mostly of a Romanian citizenship. The only rights that you do not have would be the right to vote and the obligation to join the Romanian armed forces in case of something happens. One of the best perks about the Romanian permanent residency is that you can change your employer whenever you want, you can take time off of your work and you can stay for example for one year without working and travel and see Romania and the third thing would be that you can always start a business and try to have a startup in Romania. The fifth difference would be the way that you lose the permanent residency. It is very hard to lose it with uh, regards to just losing a temporary right of stay in Romania. In order to lose the Romanian permanent residency status, you need to be out of Romania for more than one year straight. Also, there are some criminal offenses that uh, you must have a final decision from the court in order to lose the Romanian permanent residency status. So, thank you for watching and until next time you can always follow us on Instagram or Facebook as we also post content there and you can be up to date with our activity. See you soon and have a nice day. Bye!